My name is Sikre Lodube, passionately known as the STEM lady. I am all about advancing science, technology, engineering, and maths, education, innovation, and entrepreneurship amongst our students, our youth. I represent the All System Knowledge Network as a member, an active member, representing Zimbabwe. I strongly believe that for us to cover the gender gap in STEM, we need to be deliberate about telling our stories as women. I am the STEM lady because I want women to be inspired. I want the little girls to know that there is a STEM lady, a woman who's doing great in STEM, who's black, who's Zimbabwean, who's like them, then they can relate. So I think the biggest issue is that our girls are failing to relate to this big field of STEM because they don't have role models. We can never overemphasize the need for telling our stories as women. And I'd like to encourage and challenge women out there. Let's go out there and tell our stories. We've got great stories to tell. I was an orphan at a young age, but look at me, I'm the STEM lady today. So there is nothing social cultural that can stop you from achieving your goals. STEM is not for boys. The girls can do what the boys can do even better. I always say that to the girls. And it's high time that as women in STEM, we take up mentorship as an active part of our everyday life. Mentor someone. Mentor someone, tell your story to someone. Let's encourage the girls to take up careers in ICT. The future is digital. And if the young people are the future and the women are at the forefront of this, we need more girls so that we are guaranteed that Africa's future is as bright and, and as brilliant as we want it to be. We cannot stop talking about training teachers. You know, young girls, they aspire to be like teachers. The teachers need to be knowledgeable about the many careers that are there. You know, growing up in the rural areas, you notice that the only people that you wanted to be like was the teacher in the nest. This is all that you knew. Now, the girls in town, they have technology. They are on the internet. They are searching. They are learning more about careers. But let's look at the girls in the rural areas. Let no one be left behind. Let's have the teachers trained. We need more money and more financial um, um, budgets that are structured such that there's capacity building at the core of all this because we need to train the trainer we need to train the teachers they spend the most time with the little girls the girls need to be educated by people who are educated on the careers in stem last but not least on the issues of inspiring the girls to take up STEM and for us to cover this gender gap, we need to make sure that the social cultural norms don't come our way. We need to go as far as educating the parents. Let's have the parents who tell good stories about wanting their girls to be doctors, aircraft engineers, pilots. Let the parents make sure that the girls don't feel this is for boys, this is for girls. Let's buy the girls those toys that are um, you know, that are digital. Let's not buy the girls dollies all the time. And the boys, we buy them the computers and the PlayStation. Let the girl also know that they can fix the bulb. Let the girl also know that they can do all those things that at home we're saying this is for the boys. The hard things are for the boys. Why? Let's change that narrative. The girls can do what the boys can do even better. And we need the parents to be involved because the girls will always listen and do as mommy says and as daddy says. We have a lot of work to do as far as gender parity in STEM. And everyone has a very important role to play. It begins with you. Women empowerment is a topic very close to my heart because I believe that for a woman to have power, they need to be empowered, right? For a woman to have power, they need to have buying power. And what I've noticed is that women in science, technology, engineering, and maths, they only think that their science is working for them in the laboratory. But it's high time we took the science in the laboratory to the community. It is not science till it's in the community. And as women in STEM, we have a big role to play in sustainable development and in making sure that the livelihoods in our community are better. So it's important for us to educate the women on technologies that can get their products out there into the market. Let's have the women in science learn more about digital platform. E-commerce, we cannot overemphasize on the need to trade globally, on the need to trade and take advantage of the free Africa trade zone. So what are we doing in terms of that? I've seen a lot of initiatives where women are being taught how to code, where women are being taught how to um, 
sell their plat their products online but i think there's more that is needed more funding that is needed towards this so that we really have one africa trade zone where women in science are taking their products from the lab to the market thank you